to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith, and for today's video, I'm going to bring y'all along while we do a little experiment. So this year, most of the things that I'm making for Thanksgiving need to be gluten-free. We were having Thanksgiving dinner with a couple people that are allergic to gluten, and so while I'm pretty used to cooking gluten-free, I do it quite often, and I know what swaps I really like and what work for a lot of things. One thing that I have never tried to make is gluten-free pie dough and gluten-free rolls. So those are the two things we're going to try today. We're going to use a roll recipe that I found online and I will link it down below. And we are also going to use my own pie recipe and we're going to swap the regular flour for a one-to-one -one gluten-free flour to see if it works out. This is the one-to-one -one gluten free flour that I'm using. It supposedly just replaces regular flour without having to do anything extra. And I've used this flour before for different things and it's worked out pretty well. So I'm excited to try this pie dough recipe today. First, we're gonna start out with the roll recipe because it looks a little bit more complicated than the pie dough. Pie dough is pretty easy. And, and I will also have linked in the cards my original pie dough video. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. Together, 
can't just smooth them over with like wet fingers. They're, they're pretty smooth already. And they are kind of staying in their shape, which is interesting. Um, so it's a cover it in plastic wrap. And then a wet towel to get in the proof box, which I heated the oven up and then turned it off so it's cooled down to a proof temperature for an hour. We'll come back to these at the end of the video. Okay, next we're gonna move on to trying the pie dough. I know that it looks quite crumbly. That is usually how crumbly the regular pie dough looks as well because we push it together. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's see if they've risen. Also, sorry if the light's different. Uh, the sun went down. This has definitely gotten bigger in size. Wow. I feel like I should leave this on until the oven is hot. There we go. Now let's take a look at these. Ooh, they rose a lot. And they still have like the lines between them, so maybe I understand how they're gonna be like a little hard roll. Okay, let's heat up the oven. While the oven is heating up, I'm gonna roll out the pie dough. And I'm actually just gonna blind bake it in a pie pan and then maybe I'll turn it into something later. We're just trying to see if this is gonna work out, right? Oh, and I need to brush the tops of these with a little butter before they go in the oven. Let's see. It's pretty crumbly, but pie dough usually is. Tastes like 
like a yeast roll. But then it almost has like a sponge cake texture. Um, and it's a little sweet because of the sugar in there, which I really like. Now, I would be interested to pop this out of the container and see if these rolls really are like nice pull apart rolls because it looks like it all baked together, but if they can pull apart, then that'll be nice. I'm going to take another look at the recipe though because these don't look quite the same as they did in the pictures. Like they looked a little bit darker on top, but maybe that's because I'm using vegan butter instead of regular butter. Also, getting them out was a little difficult. Um, I sprayed the other container, but it still didn't seem to come out very well. This one? Kind of looking like the same issue, but it said brush with butter and sprinkle with salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle some maldon on top. These turned out good. These turned out well. Now the pie dough, as you can see, also not very dark. Um, I'm just gonna take a little piece and try it. Still tastes like pie dough, and it seems still just as like flaky. Yeah. The only thing is that when I was making this, I did notice it stuck a lot more than regular pie dough, so I'm gonna have to use a lot more like dusting flour. But all in all, I think these recipes are gonna work out. I'm excited for this gluten-free Thanksgiving. Mm. Let's get the taste test from... He tasted the rolls too and he liked it, but let's get the taste test of the pie crust. Twitter and TikTok, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. Leave me a comment down below if you what you're making for Thanksgiving dinner. And I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all.